Look, today we are talking about peak, peak Thomas merch, and if you don't agree with that statement, that's not my fault. So this is one of the few things that's been in my collection since I was actually a kid. This is the giant Trackmaster remote control cranky, which I know I've said this a lot in the last couple videos, but I genuinely think this is the coolest thing Trackmaster ever did. The, nothing really tops this. Has there ever been a better cranky? Probably not. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I figured we'd take a closer look at this thing, see what he's all about, what he does. Rosie, I'll, I'll tell you now, she loves him, so there will be that. She's kind of, she's kind of sleeping right now. She's cozy, so we won't bother her yet. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, we have some cool stuff to talk about. So the giant cranky you see here released in 2011 in a set called, I think Cranky and Flynn Saved the Day. And as you can tell, Cranky and Flynn were both included in that set. I no longer have the Flynn, but I'm pretty sure I have the fire piece somewhere that Flynn would go and knock down. It was like a little plastic piece that, oh, he put out the fire. You know, that kind of gimmick. Yeah, nobody bought the set for Flynn or the tiny piece of a uh, plastic track. It was all about this thing. It was the remote control cranky that is not only probably one of the more realistic crankies we ever got, or honestly just accurate. Look at all that detail on the side. But also in the terms that you could do stuff with it. I think Trackmaster or the uh, All Engines Go one recently did a talking cranky. This was around way before that. He doesn't talk directly to the engines, but he definitely has some voice lines and stuff that he will say. And he's remote control. You can control him with this thing right here. So, I, I'm so, I, that beats it out, I'm just saying. There was also the Tomy one, which was battery powered, and the engines, I think, could stop right in front of him, and he would simulate unloading stuff from Bolstrode onto the engines. Again, does that really, it was cool, that was a classic piece of track, don't get me wrong, but does that beat this? No, and let me, let me tell you why. Let, let's get a little closer with this thing. So as we can see, Cranky sits on a dark gray and more light gray base. And that's, uh, it's got a little bit of detail, like some steel beams, some crates, little stuff like that, that could use some paint, but to be fair, at least it's there. And to connect to the track, there's a light gray piece that connects to that base. And that's how Cranky can unload stuff and do whatever. Now looking at Cranky, there is a lot of detail here. As you can see, the face is pretty much spot on perfect, there's a lot of rivet work, and he also has his very large nameplates there at the top. Though sadly, I only have one. At some point in my childhood or early adolescence, I lost the other one, so gonna have to replace that sometime. I mean, say for that, again, Cranky is phenomenal. There's really not a lot to critique, I'd say, except the crane itself. You know, this is all one large molded piece, and it would be cool if it was actually beamed out, kind of like his body is, but... You know, it is hiding mechanics and the working crane, so that is understandable at the end of the day. And to be fair, you could paint that in if you really wanted to, but that is definitely not something I'm going to attempt. So, he also has three different positions you can put him in. If you lift this part up here, you can bring the crane part up pretty high, you can bring it down super low, or you can put it in the middle, which is normally what I do, and I'm pretty sure that's the preferred placement of it anyway. Now, let me tell you now, my biggest critique on this thing is definitely how many batteries it takes to even power it. It is, I think, four double A's for Cranky himself and three triple A's, as you can see here, for the controller. And speaking of controller, that's the entire reason I haven't been able to use this thing since I was like 12. Yeah, at some point when I was a kid, I lost this thing and could never use him. Found a listing for one on eBay. And ladies and gentlemen, today we're finally going to get this thing to work again. So I'm not going to, I'm kind of hyped. I just want to get to powering this thing up and showing you what all he does. But keep that in mind if this is ever something you want. It's going to not only cost to get the cranky, but uh, to even power him. That is... Not fun. And you can't help but wonder if they could have used like a C battery or something like that in place of four double A's inside of Cranky, but they just chose not to. That's four tank engines you're not powering anymore because you have to power Cranky. But it is what it is. You know, it could be worse, I guess. Now, we talked a lot about Cranky. Let's talk about what he came with uh, for the engines and I guess Flynn in specific. This large blue crate that you see here is used for picking up engines. Um, it's kind of dusty. I definitely need to clean mine out. But um, you use this switch here, and this is the worst part. It gets a little sticky. Like, I have to go in there and mess with it to even get it to work. There we go. You put it in stop. The engines will come in, and you close it up, and Cranky can 
hold it on his hook and lift them around, put them on another track, just carry them. And to release it, there's this here on the bottom. You basically just drop it on the track and boom, the little dude can come right back out if that goes down like it's supposed to. Yeah, mine's a little defective. It doesn't like to work like it's supposed to, but um, that could just be because it's so dirty. I will dust this off before we get into operation with this thing. Yeah, it's this blue crate right here. So this is only gonna fit like Thomas, Percy, tank engines. If you want to get James, Edward, Gordon, any tender engine into that and have Cranky lift them, well, you're just not going to. I'm sorry. That 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 probably won't work. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to cover. Um, admittedly, the speed isn't the most fast, and that could be because he's using batteries that I did take out of engines, so maybe they're not the most good or really at full juice, but I do remember him being a little faster, but maybe that's just my memory being weird. When it comes to these nameplates here, I do wish they uh, put them on in a better way. As you can see on the side, it's literally just two pegs. And when you go to look for a cranky like this on eBay, there's a pretty high chance it will be missing those parts or at least one of them like mine is. And you know, God knows what happened to it when I was a kid, but you, you know, I can't really blame kids or anyone else for losing theirs, but it does stink. You would have thought they would have put it in in a way where that wouldn't happen as much, and I guess it's not just me who has that problem. But alas, ladies and gentlemen, that has been a closer look at this dude. Th there's not a lot I can do just talking about it. I really have to show you why this is one of the best crankies, if not the best cranky ever made, so... I'm sorry, she's so cute. That, 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 that took me for a second. So I guess with that in mind, let me show you what cranky does, and it just might wake little Rosie up, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. All right, got this turned on. Let's turn on Cranky. Hello, I'm Cranky. No way, okay, he's working. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh my God, this is the first time I've seen this thing work in years. Are you kidding me? Oh, it also turns out I was completely wrong. It's not the middle section he's supposed to be on. It looks like it's the back one. So let me go ahead and fix that. I load, you deliver. Yeah, I'm working on it, dude, shit. All right, drop that off. And boom, we got that one delivered. Let's go ahead and lift back up. And he can go this way, he can go that way. Yeah, it's literally just a remote control cranky, but look at it, look how tall it is. It's pretty much in scale with whatever you want to use it with, whether it's Tomy, Wooden Railway. And again, you are in complete control of this guy. You can send him left, you can send him right, the crane up, down, and I believe this does voice clips. I was wrong, I guess it sends him in a little circle. I'm fascinated too, Rosie. Let, let, what's he gonna do? What, what, what's going on here? Nope, I was wrong. It just sends him in a 360. Loading and unloading zone. No, nope. no, nope, I wasn't completely wrong. He talks after, so at, at least there's that. Yeah, again, it's pretty standard. It's literally just a remote control cranky, but I still think with that in mind and what you get, just look at this guy. He's giant, very detailed. So do I have my little gripes with this thing? For sure. There are some things that I think could be better. Again, maybe the crane, it is hiding mechanics, but I, a little bit of black paint would have gone pretty far. That's just me, I'm just saying. But again, this is still probably the easiest 10 out of 10 I will ever give any piece of Thomas merch. Just just look at this, look at that face. If you could swap that out for a classic series face, it again, it would be the perfect cranky. There would be no other cranky toy that compares to it. She agrees. She agrees, Rosie's in on this too, don't you agree? No, she just wants a belly rub, but... So, yeah, I guess if I'm gonna rate this thing easily a 10 out of 10, but that's if we're just talking about Cranky. I do think it would have been cooler to give him a set that was more based around him, like maybe Salty instead of Flynn, or just something, you know, more docks oriented but it, at least we got an RC talking Cranky. That's pretty cool. Oh, I also forgot to mention, his speaker is right there at the bottom, so... If it was a little muted when he was working or when I was trying to show it off, that's probably why, but yeah, that's where that is. That's my bad. Well, I'm gonna go build a train set now and uh, show you guys how cool this thing is in action. So let's get to that. I load, you deliver. He is so fucking bossy. I don't remember that. You got an attitude, dude. He really is cranky. They even got the emotion right, cool. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on. Ah, I got it. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, Thomas, Thomas, stop. Rosie, help. Rosie, help me. Rosie, help me. Well, it could have been worse. It definitely could have been worse. We must hurry. Oh, wait, 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 give it a second, give it a second. All right, now go, let's do it, come on, come on. Line it up, get on the track, let's These go. These crates are light as well. I don't think that did it. I think that's gonna cause a derailment because it's on a switch, isn't it? Well, it was worth a shot, wasn't it? All right, let's get that out of the way. Come on. Oh, Thomas, Thomas, don't do it. Don't do it, buddy, don't. Come on, come on. Twice, dude, come on, my guy. Excuse me, Miss Rosie. Pardon me. Giving Thomas the wave through. I see you. I see you. Oh, let's see if we can catch him. Let's see if I can catch him, Miss Rosie. Hold on. Incoming. Excuse me. Thank you, man. One second. Ah, oh, dang it. I think Thomas does. Come on, Oliver, Oliver, there we go, there we go. Better, better, that wasn't your fault, Cranky. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.